Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I really do apologize if I haven't uploaded or updated all my past vlogs and I do appreciate those people who are privately messaging me on my Facebook asking about any updates and you know appreciating about what I shared because they said it really helped them with their application too so I'm very happy that my vlogs are you know somehow help people for those who are new to my channel, just to give you a recap, I entered the US with a B2 visa and then um, I applied adjustment of status a month after my, yes, a month after my wedding. My priority date is September 9, 2019. So I know with the recent changes with USCIS, they added another form, which if you guys will ask me about that, I'm sorry, but I don't really know anything about that for my only pass i-130 i-765 i-131 i-485 i-864 and i-864a those are the only forms i passed last year i got my notice date for biometrics september 20 2019 and was my biometrics was scheduled for i'm sorry october 11 2019 and then after that, I got my E80 February 2020. So it was kind of oh, what? September, October, November, December, January, February. Five months. I waited five months for my E80 to arrive. So after I received my E80, guys, I only got an update last month, which was November, that my interview was finally scheduled. But before that, I already applied for renewal of my EAD because as it says, you should renew your EAD 180 days before. So I already applied earlier than that because, you know, just to be sure because of COVID, we don't know what's going to happen if there will be a lockdown again and USCIS will close again. And I don't want to lose my job because I have bills to pay. <laughs> we have bills to pay. So that's why I did apply for um, EAD renewal earlier than it should be. I did apply like August, so it was it is seven months before my um, EAD will actually expire. So guys, with the renewal of EAD, you just have to um, submit IA-765 and I-131 again with everything. Also with the same evidence as that you passed with I-765, there's just a box there on the I-765 form where it asks you if it's a new card or renewal, just click renewal and it's easy. And then after that, it got approved by October 13. So that only took like roughly two months, about two months. Cause October 13, I got a notification that card is being produced, that it got approved and then I got my card uh, in the mail by October 19, 2020. So that was pretty fast um, processing times of renewal, guys. November 3, 2020, my case status in the mobile app I'm using, I'm using Case Tracker and Lawfully. They both updated that interview was already scheduled and oh my God, finally, like it was what? So September, October, November, like 14 months of waiting finally we will have our interview it was scheduled for my interview date was december 8th but guys um as much as i really prepared everything but you know something unexpected happened like a night before my interview so i had to we really had to cancel it but what happened what we did was i still went alone because it was my the emergency was on my husband's side so i did went along because it was already too late to you know call and ask for reschedule because it happened the night before and our interview was 7 45 in the morning so that's why we decided to just go there me for me to go there and you know just tell to the officer that we're sorry that my husband can't attend right now and if you could reschedule us, blah, blah, blah. So that's what happened. I arrived there around 
which is right on time because in the interview notice they said that you can only enter the building 15 minutes before your interview schedule so i arrived there 7 30 then i waited i waited in the waited i waited for my name to be called um i waited for around i was actually i started waiting around 7 40 7 45 ish and then and my name got called around eight so the officer called me and then she asked me first why am i alone i said that i said that because of an emergency my husband can't be here so we, we apologize about that and then she told me that well we can't really do anything right now if your husband is not here so she said i will just put your um case for reschedule after after that day guys i waited for like a week until i got a status update which was no december 14 my status changed to case is ready to be scheduled for an interview and then december 15 guys my uh, my case updated again that interview is already scheduled so right now i'm wait just waiting in the mail to arrive to for me to find out when will be my next interview again that's it guys if you like this video please do subscribe to my channel hit the thumbs up and if you don't mind turn on the notification bell that's it guys thank you for watching